Hello, Karin Scassell here on behalf of Makers Mercantile with the top five things to look for in today's newsletter. Item number one, we received a large shipment in from Yarn Snob. So if you're not familiar with Yarn Snob, the brain behind uh, Yarn Snob and the artisan is actually Keith Leonard, also the same person who's behind Knits All Done. He's an excellent teacher and has an excellent sense of color and his yarns are absolutely beautiful. So let's see what we got in. We'll start with this piece up here. So this is actually the splattered paint wrap kit. And you can see, actually, maybe I can hold it up a little bit closer. Um, and you can see some of the detail work on there. In this kit, you will actually get two hanks of a solid color, as you can see here, and then one hank of one of his dyed colors that has so many colors in it that you know you really can't count them um this is a 100 percent super super wash merino it's nice and gushy the um yarn is custom milled for him in italy and it's hand dyed here in the united states we have this yarn snob kit in in two different colors one with cream and one with gray so that is one of the items we, we received. Then one of my favorites is, of course they're all my favorites, is this. This is called um, Yarn Snob's Powerball. And there is a reason it's called the Powerball. Look at this. This is a 500 gram hank of um, hand dyed delight. It has over 50 colors in it. It's absolutely beautiful and there are never any two alike they're all different so what i'm going to do is because we aren't featuring all of these individual ones online if you order online we will pick one out for you and we will ship it to you however if you call the shop you can get a specific one because right now i'm only down to four all the others we got in have sold so this one here um and it actually has a code on it this is our ball number three so if you like those colors that is our ball Number three, this one here, let's see, huh? Um, this is our ball number one. So you can see that. Um, this one here, we'll turn it around a little bit for you. Oopsie. Um, this one is actually ball number two. And then this fabulous one, which I just absolutely adore the black that's in it because I wear a lot of black. Um, this one here is actually ball number five. So those are the four balls I have left if you're interested in any of those. And remember that's 500 grams. I mean, you can make yourself a beautiful sweater out of that. Um, not all sizes, but many sizes. A huge shawl, two shawls, whatever you want, you could do a lot with that. Another item that we received from Yarn Snob is the 100 Colors Cowl Kit. That is this one right here. And in the 100 Colors Cowl Kit, we have three different color combinations, one that's based on a black, one that has a cream, and then we have our own, um, which is our maker's color. And this one has like an aqua teal with a mix of um, the other colors. So what you're actually getting in this kit is one hank of his um, dyed yarn. It's called Happiness, which has all the colors in it, and one hank of a solid. And on all of these kits, except for the Powerball, Powerball, there's not a pattern, but on all these other kits, there is a pattern. Um, one other thing we got was a Swag Cal kit. That's also, you can see it online, that's also a really um, fun piece. So those are all from Yarn Snob, and uh, we wanna thank them for getting us all these beautiful yarns shipped. They really are amazing. I mean, the, the color sense on these, Oh man, <laughs> if I didn't already have 1,200 square feet filled with stash, I'd probably buy more. All right, moving right along. Um, we have a new bag from our print lab. This is called the Nostalgic um, Crazy Quilt Bag. And as you can see here, there's one side and there's the other side. This is actually a uh, crazy quilt that comes from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And um, it is an old crazy quilt the production quality, you know, the, the photo production on this, you can see, it almost looks real. It has an awful lot of embroidery work on it, and um, 
we actually trimmed the top too. It has a little bit of a um, edging that matches the crazy quilt. So this is our newest drawstring bag. It's called the uh, Nostalgic Crazy Quilt. It's available online. So if you're interested in that, um, click down below. We also received new fabrics in last week, and these were from Paintbrush Studios. This is what they call their um, citrus collection. There are, in, you know, there's these four colors. <laughs> there's actually more, but these four colors were used in this quilt. So once we got it in, um, Connie, who's our resident seamstress here, uh, she actually made this really, really beautiful um, quilt. So it's about 54 inches, I think she said, by 42 inches. That is the one side, that's the back side. This is the front side. She kept it simple. She just did strips, no pattern or anything. And then she actually um, did some hand quilting on top, which is always a nice touch and is very simple when you just have strips. A little time consuming, but, uh, but actually simple. So we are going to be offering these four fabrics for 20% off this week. And if you want to make your own little, um, or we're calling it orange you happy, uh, quilt, there's no pattern for it, but we do have the inspiration and we do have the fabric for you. Now, of course, we still have our classes um, listed in the newsletter. We have the weaving class coming up. We have classes from uh, Kyle Kuniki coming up, from Faina Goberstein coming up. We have a freebie and art felt coming up from me. And next week, we actually have our knit night, which is going to be on Tuesday night. That's a free um, event as well. And our guest of honor is going to be Carson Demers, who wrote um, Ergonomic Knitting, um, The Art of, oh gosh, now I can't remember the name of his book, but it is listed in the newsletter. Um, oh, it's called Comfortable Knitting, The Ergonomics of Hand Knitting. That's what it is. There we go. I knew it'd come back to me. Um, so he's going to be joining us on Tuesday evening. And then of course, Thursday evening, we have our weave in with Cynthia Gerard, And we have a new item for all you weavers coming up too. And we'll introduce that on Tuesday and we'll talk about it on Thursday evening. So I think that's about it right now. We wish you all a wonderful weekend. Take some time to be creative. Um, stay safe, be happy and joyful. Enjoy everything that's presented in front of you and we will see you again next week on Tuesday. Thank you.